this is a third video on the series uh, delay automatic on we are going to install this timer in the circuit now we will install in the stabilizer here is the circuit you can see we will install it in the stabilizer uh, first video we made reverse engineering on this one the second one video we powered it up and uh, we checked the function how it works I give all the details about this today we will make the practical use of this circuit mm. so we will use this circuit and the stabilizer and the refrigerator stabilizer or ref deep freezer stabilizer or in the air conditioner stabilizer here is one stabilizer with me mm. this is local made national you can see um, so this one is here is the on off switch and there is the meter here is the 12 volt watt power they have mentioned and this is what is the manufactured manufacturer detail mm, we will open this and the behind is you can see two sockets one is the fuse the other is the cable these sockets are for uh, power output we are connecting our refrigerator or a deep freezer or whatever equipment with this one this is actually the automatic voltage regulator uh, for air conditioner we are using bigger one uh, this is the smaller one for uh, refrigerator or uh, whatever the freezer so this is normally used the some stabilizers are containing this circuit they are having a built in this circuit inside but in the most they have no this is the delay automatic in which we can set up the time uh, if you watch the videos they are good that is good if not then the, in the description there are links for the two videos before I have uploaded uh, while we are setting up this red LED and the relay is coming on and it is making a delay uh, the power we are delaying for the output uh, from this uh, voltage regulator uh, the re de delay is important because uh, if we will not make any delay and uh, there will be a switching and the power of the refrigerator or air conditioner uh, it can become defective the, the compressor inside which is very expensive in the refrigerator or uh, in the air conditioner or in the freezer will come become defective uh, so it needs some from one minute to three minutes uh, duration to uh, to be to be made between the switch off and on we mean to say if you are going to switch off a refrigerator then you should not switch it on immediately instead you should give some one to three minutes delay uh, in the switching uh, this is happening actually in the problem is happening while our power company is switching off the power and then immediately they are switching it on again uh, after two four seconds so restoration they are making this is a problem this is giving a big problem to our machines uh, they the, the life is seriously uh, damaging or the compressor is immediately can be damaged uh, so if we will make this circuit inside our in our power system uh, for the refrigerator or for the freezer so it will take some delay which is from one minute to three minutes the socket will not get any power uh, all of a sudden when we will switch it on uh, so it will take it will give a delay and uh, that will be the benefit of this circuit this is a small circuit but it is giving big delay, big uh, uh, benefit so I so made this circuit before and some 20 years before and uh, put it in one other stabilizer in this one we will connect this one this circuit there is no delay in this stabilizer we will make everything in this one I will show each and every detail uh, how we are going to fix this circuit in uh, these two contacts we will use um, and uh, we will delay this, the output power uh, I will show each and everything and I will test in front of you also uh, now we are going to open so for opening you should have to remove all the screws you should have to unscrew all the screws they are uh, some s uh, eight screws in my case and maybe one and one or two could be missing because somebody before me work worked on this stabilizer uh, so normally the people are they are uh, missing the screws this is a, a normal practice I'm going to remove the screws from the top also uh, the top there are two screws 
uh, so all the screws I'm opening and this is what I'm capturing on camera because uh, this is important to show each and every detail uh, although this the video video will become a little bit bigger uh, but this is important for a beginner uh, specialists know very well mm, so I'm saying sorry to the specialists uh, this is for the beginner uh, so please bear with me uh, if you can make a mark on uh, the cover this is better so that later on you will be easily fixing this one uh, inside I'm going to show you inside you can see there is a transformer this is auto transformer and uh, with taping and there is a fuse you can see the power is coming through the fuse there is a printed circuit board containing some components and uh, there are uh, relays in the um, circuit which is which are uh, taping the windings here are the output sockets uh, this uh, green wire you can see this is bringing power from the power uh, from the power PCB to the output socket uh, This is bringing the power actually uh, which is needed. Uh, we will cut this wire and uh, we will tape our circuit in uh, this wire uh, This is ac actually easy uh, detail you can see I mean uh, by any mean you will cut uh, somewhere and uh, you will uh, incorporate this circuit and we will put this circuit in somewhere somewhere like this we will put it we will insulate this circuit and we'll put it inside or either we will make a screw and we'll fix it properly so this is what is the way we can uh, put this circuit inside uh, this casing of the stabilizer or voltage regulator uh, so here you can see this circuit is also not screwed this is opened the transformer is also wiggling uh, bad design you can say uh, I'm going to remove it from uh, for the testing and for the adaptation I mean to see the connection I will make first of all we will check for the voltages uh, where we are getting the somewhere the working voltage which is 12 volt in our circuit uh, 12 to some value like 16 or 15 will also work uh, so I'm going to show you where the, the voltage we can get uh, here are a few wires which are coming from the transformer uh, they are bringing a small uh, voltage like 12 volt for the control of this circuit uh, so now I'm going to show you where we can we will keep this circuit in air uh, we will not uh, connect it to some metal body or something like that we will not create any short circuit now I'm going to uh, look for the power either AC or DC power of our required uh, value we can take we can take with the voltage value and we will uh, power up our circuit now I switched on this uh, Equipment I mean the voltage regulator now. I'm going to set, set the meter to AC voltage and I'm checking for the voltage Carefully I'm checking and now here I'm I can get 43 volts, which is way way too high uh, So this is not our required voltage uh, we are going to check inside and there is a regulator I can see from the other side regulator transistor with along with uh, some regulator circuit I can see and if we will check it over here uh, Let us see we are going to check some DC voltages inside mm, We are setting our meter to the DC voltage Now I'm going to uh, check the voltage here is the regulator and uh, reg rectifier part here is the capacitor electrolytic capacitor here I'm going to check if you can see 17 17 volt we are getting which is also way too high uh, after the regulation what they made is uh, they put the relay which are 12 volt coil but unfortunately they are working on 17 volts 17 volt is way too high uh, this is bad design you can say uh, so what is that is their poor engineering the engineering is way poor uh, only ordinary people are working in these companies so that's why uh, such items are coming defective and they are working in some bad state uh, now we are going to put one resistance in our circuit which is some 50 ohms uh, green brown and black this is the color code and some two watts are one and a half watt value this jumper we will remove and we will add this uh, resistance in the circuit I mean this will come in the way of uh, power uh, to the IC so 
actually there was uh, an IC place they have given uh, but IC is not there so we put this resistance in instead of the jumper uh, so 50 ohm resistance it will make a voltage drop uh, which will be sufficient to power up this circuit and to power up the IC uh, without damaging it so now I'm going to put these two wires which are for the power supply uh, for 12 volt or something like that I'm going to solder in the place we are uh, 17 volt we are getting as the resistance is there the polarity is not sensitive because uh, the circuit is containing bridge rectifier uh, where the polarity is not sensitive so instead of um, taking any care of the power uh, polarity power supply polarity uh, we are just going to connect it on the electrolytic capacitor where we are getting 17 volt so I'm going to solder it on uh, this capacitor so I just soldered both of the wires you can see now you can see I soldered them uh, and we will keep this circuit in some place here also these two pads I soldered uh, you can see the normally open two and common and normally open I just uh, soldered those uh, pads and this wire we will cut it over here and these two pads we will solder uh, this wire uh, I mean to say the output we are going to switch here I am cutting it uh, the output we are switching through the relay which is there in the timer circuit so this will create a delay the purpose is to create a delay in the power on the output sockets output sockets here so here is the AC power there is no uh, problem with the polarity here also uh, I'm going to turn the two wires uh, to make it easy soldering the other side also I'm going to turn so now I'm going to solder on the one pad I'm soldering one wire and on the other pad I will solder another wire this is on the common terminal I soldered now our circuit is ready uh, now I'm connecting a 100 watt lamp to the output you can see I just put this lamp on the transformer I connected it to the output of the regulator uh, so now I'm going to power it up and taking care the voltage is also we will the voltage for the circuit also we will check after resistor how much voltage we are getting on the IC this is important it should be within the range which is something 15 volt or 16 volt it should not exceed if the voltage will be high too high then uh, this IC uh, can can become defective I mean to say it can create a fire or something like that so we are going to power this up and we'll see so you can see the green LED had been come and now the time has been started it will take a while I'm not going to switch off the camera or not going to change any um, change in the real time uh, so this video will be in real time I just uh, give some more than a minute now we are going to test the voltage on the IC so pin number one to pin number one and pin number eight you can see pin number one and eight we are going to test eight is actually positive but I'm going to uh, check it reverse and the reverse polarity let us see how much voltage is I cannot set the meter I will try to set up the meter in front of you for 14 volt I'm getting uh, while the relay is off so let us see let I'm putting my meter in some good place so that you will be able to see also so now probably you will see on the meter screen and I'm checking on the IC pin number 1 and 8 14.17 14.18 volt 14 volt this is 14 volt this is okay 
uh, while the relay will be switched on so it will take it will create a more voltage drop on the resistance and the voltage will be reduced further uh, while it will complete the circuit uh, complete the timing the circuit then the relay will be switched on then I will check the voltage again so now you can see the lamp had been come after a minute or so and the relay had been switched and the red LED had been come and the 100 watt lamp is also glowing so now I'm going to test the voltage let us see so 11.88 volt is coming now while the relay is on so some 12 volt you can say the circuit is operating which is perfect uh, the resistance just I put this is perfect 50 ohm for this circuit uh, if you are working practically on some system like this you are going to adapt something so such problems you are facing this was important I, while I show this in this video each and every detail uh, the resistance you can calculate for this circuit I just put it uh, with approximation and approximation had been worked uh, there as a formula also so practically you just see everything now we will put this circuit inside and we will come make the complete system the next video please watch I will do another video on this circuit if you are not going to use this uh, stabilizer with your system because somewhere the stabilizer is not needed as I am also not using it so how in only you can use on the output socket for the refrigerator or freezer I will share that video please stay tuned for that next uh, please share this video like it and uh, stay tuned subscribe my channel also uh, please give a look uh, to the blog below in the video uh, you will get the link